Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm going to be testing Insurgency on the GeForce GTX 1050 2GB. I'll be doing 1080p, 1440p and 4K. To skip turn of those sections of the video, check the timestamps down in the description. So first of all, I'll show you the G4560 on 1080p using the maximum settings and 4 times MSAA. Since I think that 8 times MSAA is a waste, 4 times in my opinion is more than enough. Then I switch to the i3-8100 and I'll show you 1080p once again with the same settings settings so you can have an idea on what's the difference between the G4560 and i3 in this game. Then I switch to 1440p and once again I'm using the maximum settings but this time MSAA is completely disabled. And finally at 4k I had to lower the settings in order to target 60 frames per second but it was possible to do so for the most part. Most of the time we're over that number but sometimes when looking through a scope or far into the distance or just when there is a lot of effects on screen which can happen when you are in a gunfight it can drop into the mid 50s. I personally I just prefer 1080p with higher settings and higher frame rates. I previously tested this game on the GTX 750Ti then 1050Ti and both of those cards more than capable of doing 1080p maximum settings over 60 frames per second so on something better than that you won't have any issues using maximum settings even at 1440p so usually when I have to lower the settings is when I'm trying to do 4k especially on the 1050 and 1050Ti if you need better performance first of all lower the scope detail in this game scopes don't zoom in the whole camera like most games here only the scope some scene like in real life that hits performance a lot so the scope detail will just control the quality of it if you use low it will have a lot of aliasing so yeah in this one while using scopes it should be a massive fps boost and then overall by just lowering effects shader and global shadow detail that should also give you a performance boost those four options i consider them the most important especially if you're doing beyond 1440p on modern gpus and if you're targeting high frame rates the game can use a lot of cpu I noticed a difference between the G4560 and i3-8100, 2 cores for threats versus 4 cores for threats. Usually the G4560 when looking very far into the distance using a scope, it can drop below 60 frames per second, usually in the low 50s. It's the minority of the time, but you can notice it. Then an i3-8100 versus an i5-8400, that's 4 cores for threats versus 6 cores, 6 threats. That can be the difference between having 100 frames per second and 80 frames per second. The i5-8400 can get it also in to the 200 fps mark in some parts so it's good to see that this game can take advantage of a faster cpu but yeah overall due to the age of the game and the fact that it's using the source engine it makes sense that it's getting good frame rates but yeah guys that's pretty much it i hope you keep enjoying the video thanks for watching and see you next time we got no hostiles in bravo
Bravo now. Need a sec, I gotta load.
No hostiles in Charlie, guys. Okay, we got no hostiles in Charlie. Just one sec, I'm loading!
Got Charlie. Good work. Hey! Hey, look out, man! Hostiles are entering Charlie! Hostiles are on Charlie. They're taking Charlie. Remember his hit. Right! 